Social media is great, right? But what's the organic reach of social media? This is what I believe. I'm sharing that with you for nothing. Just get out there and succeed. Right, Twitter's like one or 2%. You know, Instagram is under 20%. You know, all these numbers, right? Really low numbers. Organic reach of an email is like 90%. You might have another 10% to go to spam or something, but they're gonna see it. An impression means they saw it. It doesn't mean that they clicked on it. It doesn't mean that they liked it. It just means that they saw it, okay? That's the reach, is your impressions. So an email is like in the 90% you know, range in terms of organic reach, which means you don't have to pay for that reach. It's organic, it's free. Um, it's the highest organic reach really out there except for text messaging, right? And text messaging is still kind of new in business, right? It's kind of a little, still a little too intimate to really be throwing the business stuff in there. I'm doing business text, I'm doing group text to my, to my database. Um, you know, but I'm kind of, I like to try to stay on the, ahead of the curve. I know it's going to go there. I know business is going to go that direction. The email should be the foundation of your personal brand, same day of the week, every week, forever. And then everything else for your personal brand should stack on top of it. Social medias and postcards and signs and radio ads or whatever you do needs to be on stacked on top of the foundation, which is a weekly email, period, end of story. Um, so, so as you're building your database, you're sending this weekly email, you're closing a lot of deals, you're helping a lot of people, you just continue to call and help and build your database to get to the income level you want. Then you can shut off trying to go after new and you can just do this weekly email, follow up with Spear and continue on whatever income that you, that you got up to. That's what I did. When I got up to a million in 2017, was it 17? 17. Damn. 2017, I got up to the mill. I quit cold calling. I just focused on my email and my sphere, and I've maintained that hundred deals and million dollars every year since. It hasn't went up and it hasn't went down. Okay, um, so just visualize that. Okay, visualize that. Now I'll tell you real quick before I give you the real like visualiz visualization of short term. Um, like process to put yourself in position to actually, you guys could do 100 deals right now this year. You could do 100 deals over the next 12 months. From now for 12 months, you could do 100 deals. It's not hard. I'll tell you how in just a second. But I want you to know that the, the most efficient thing that you can do in your business, right? The, 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 the highest production, ROI, um, whatever fancy words you want to throw out there, the, 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 the best thing that you can do for your business is to talk to and call property owners who own the exact property that you want to sell and make friends with them. That's the highest productive activity. Now, you can get those property owners contact information for two cents a piece, okay? So <laughs> when you look at Zillow leads for hundreds of dollars, Facebook leads for tens of dollars, um, Realtor.com, uh, anywhere that you get leads, all that's garbage. When you when you realize that that the highest quality prospect, you know, you know, Zillow and all these other lead generation sources, what are they giving you? They're giving you random leads that you could have met at Walmart for hundreds of dollars. And what I'm saying is, is <laughs> there's you can you can talk to not random people, but the exact person you want to talk to for two cents. And once you know this, once you understand what I'm saying, and, and, and guys, please speak up. If you know something that is more efficient and better than what I'm saying, I'm on a journey, I'm on a, I'm on a search to find something better than what I'm saying. I've yet to have any of the millions of agents out there who have watched my videos tell me anything better than this. But when you, when you realize that this is gold and that this is where it's at, there's no reason to do anything else. <laughs> Not a single thing, nothing. Just sit in a room and just call property owners all day long, see what you can do to help them, build your database, and um, you know, put that work in. That might be a bad word, that might be what everybody's trying to get around the work. I don't know, okay? So I talked about the, the theory behind how to get your income level to the place that you want, and then how to keep it there. 
I told you what the foundation of everyone's personal brand should be. I told you what the most efficient thing to do in your business is, period. Don't do anything else ever. And now I want to tell you a short-term philosophy on how you guys should do 50 to 100 deals over the next 12 months easily, period. End of story. And that is this. I want you guys to create a Google Sheet on your computer. I want you to create a Google Sheet on your computer and I want you to call it potential real estate deals. And then I want you to I want you to make that Google Sheet a favorite on your computer. And when in the mornings when you come in and you start working and you put your, you know, you pull up your email, you pull up MLS, whatever tabs you pull up, I want this to be one of those tabs. I want it to be open all day long, okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to start putting people on that Google Sheet, on that list, potential buyers or sellers that are telling you that they're thinking of buying or selling in the next 90 days. Okay, so people that are thinking about buying or selling in the next 90 days need to go on this sheet. Now with the Google Sheets, it's like you put their name there, and then the next column, you can put their phone number if you want, you can put their email if you want, you can, and then you can put a little story. We talk, this is what they're looking for, this is their little story, little notes on your conversation, then it's there in that Google Sheet forever. It's saved, as soon as you type one letter, that's saved forever. Every time you pull it up, it's there. You're never gonna lose another client. Um, and then here's what I want you to do with it, okay? I want you to get that list of people who say they're thinking about buying or selling in the next 90 days up to 20 to 30 people. That's the magic number. If you can get that list up to 20 to 30 people and maintain that list, you're gonna close one or two properties a week. Once you start this process today, it takes you a month or two to get it up to 20 or 30. Within the next three months, you should start closing one to two a week, okay? And you're gonna do that for 12 months and that's 50 to 100 deals. It's not real hard. Now, let's talk about the people on the list, the 20 to 30, okay? You start putting those people on the list or thinking about buying or selling in the next 90 days. If one of those prospects lists their house with you or another agent, they're off the list. If a buyer writes a contract and goes under contract with you or another agent, they're off the list. If you're following up with them and they tell you finally, hey, we're just gonna hold off for right now, they're off the list. Now you wanna take them off the list and put them on another list of clients to maybe follow up with later on a year or whatever, and everybody goes on the weekly email. I mean, as soon as you get their email, they go on that weekly email database and start getting that weekly email, period, end of story, right? And so as you build this list of 20 to 30 people who might do something in 90 days, some of those people are gonna move forward with you or other agents, or they're gonna tell you to hold off. You're gonna take them off the list. Now what do we gotta do? We gotta replace them. We gotta replace those people with somebody else to maintain that number. So you gotta have a steady flow of leads coming in Okay, and you have to really work that list. So you gotta work two things there. You gotta work new, new clients to see if we can put them on the list. And then we gotta work the list for people that, to, 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 get, the, to get the conversions and to get the deals done, right?